Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy from Van On Company. It's Friday, October 7th. I'm gonna go over the markets for the day and week here. Corn closed down just three quarters of a cent on the day and actually posted a three cent gain on the week here. So some strength into this corn market early on then faded just a bit yesterday and then slightly into today. Uh, soybean market closed down one and three quarters cent today and that put you at almost three cents higher on the week as well. So very quiet markets here as far as those corn and soybeans go. Uh, this week leading into next week's crop report so you're kind of in a dead zone right now you know the yields are good in soybeans you are starting to hear some corn but really corn's been slow to come in as far as those yield reports go uh, but you've been hearing the really strong soybean ones and so you come into next week on wednesday to have usda's crop report that is where they have the chance to increase or decrease yield. A lot of people are expecting a slight decrease on corn and then a, about a full bushel increase here on soybeans. Uh, they also can adjust many other things, including harvested acres, and they do do that here in this report typically. So you could see any kind of yield increase or decrease offset by that. Uh, so it is a little bit of a bigger report. You do get a, quite a bit of information into it as well. Uh, wheat market, the story of the week was really that separation from many Minneapolis to the rest of them. Minneapolis really gained a premium here. Uh, for example, Minneapolis on the on the week closed up seven cents. Uh, Chicago wheat on the week closed down seven and a quarter. And uh, Kansas City actually closed down 12 and a half cents on the week. So you really saw that separation there building a little bit of premium probably due to protein issues as well uh, and so that's really the only story behind it uh, unless you want to lend it to manage money as far as that goes over into the meat markets you had feeder cattle just slightly lower on the day they actually post about four and a half bucks higher on the week after having such a brutal week last week live cattle uh, slightly lower as well um, you actually closed just shy of three bucks uh, higher on the week as well and then into the hog market uh, up three cents or 30 cents on the on the day on the week up a buck 65 now that's a little bit uh, skewed just because you're still going off the October contract that is holding a premium December has been uh, once again hit very hard this week there uh, so you have that at an extremely low price compared to the rest of these markets as you do see some flow of uh, ample amount of supplies into that contract moving forward here uh, so so overall for the tone these this week was extremely quiet except for the early rally into these markets that provided some marketing opportunities especially for the extra bushels that a lot of people are not that did not expect to see of those high uh, uh, bushels on the beans as far as that goes uh, what you're gonna see early next week is choppy trade leading into uh, Wednesday's crop report and then trying to maybe hear some more yield uh, weather forecast looks extremely favorable for harvest so we should be able to hear a lot more of those corn numbers coming in as well I do have to close with a disclaimer, trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great weekend.